<laughs> Hi, Coach. How are you? Good, thank you. We'll start with our first question back here from John Corrales. Hey, Joe. Uh, Peyton Pritchard took 15 three-pointers in the first game, only took five in this one, was more, much more of a distributor. Was that part of the, your focus to get him to, to work on a different part of his game for this one? Um, we didn't necessarily talk about that, but I think uh, he did a great job just knowing what the game needed and the game needed uh, for him to just make the right play for other people. And I thought he was great at that. Um, he ended up with 12 assists. So every game is going to be different. There's times to score and then there's times to distribute and, and manage the game. And, you know, one thing we talked about was he's learned to manage the game. Now he has to manage his teammates and make sure that he makes them better uh, on every possession. And I thought he did that today. Next question on the Zoom coach is from Jim Conlon. Uh, hello, coach. I suppose two players, Aaron and Peyton, going off for 54 points there today, nearly half your total, putting up 107 in the NBA Summer League. You must be very, uh, uh, very impressed with that, 54 points from two players. Yeah, I mean, we had 25 assists, 13 turnovers. So we moved the ball, we passed to each other, and they, and they made shots. So uh, we have a great team, great group of guys. And as I said, they're very unselfish, and they look to make each other better. Next question, Coach, back here is from Mark Murphy from the Boston Herald. Hey, Joe. Um, you know, certain shooters, they just expect the next one to go in. Is that pretty much where Aaron is at this point? Um. I just know he's more confident and I know he's more comfortable on the floor. And when he gets open looks, um, you know, I think it's going in and so does he. So like I said, I think it's just a matter of the work that he's put in in the off season and how comfortable he feels on the floor. Bob Schron. Thanks, Jeff. Hi, hi coach. Uh, I, I kind of was going to ask you about Aaron also follow up on Mark, but are you, do you feel good about the way the kids are playing this their second year in the league that they able to use their experience to move the like you said move the ball and get a feeling of confidence as a group? Yeah, it's just it's been a fun team to coach. Like I said, they're uh, unselfish. Uh, they have high basketball IQs and they're competitive. They want to win uh, one through twelve. So it makes you look like you know what you're doing. But in reality, you just have really good players um, who want to win and want to play together. Tom Westerholm. Hey, Joe, just wanted to get your first impressions of Bruno. Um, I thought it was great. He brought great energy. He was the anchor of our defense. Uh, communicates well. And, um, you know, he was a physical presence in the paint. So I think uh, in a game like this, in his first game back, he had a positive influence on our guys. And, you know, I thought Denver did a great job of being physical with us in the first quarter. And I thought Bruno was the anchor in making sure we responded with physicality. Another question, Coach, from John Corrales. Joe, what are you seeing defensively from Yam Madar? What do you think he needs to work on? Uh, he has great ball pressure. This has to be solid. You know, it's hard. It's a fine line when you ask people to pressure the ball and you ask them to get into the ball and pick the ball up high. There's obviously more space on the floor for the ball handler to attack. So it's just finding that balance of pressure in the ball, but staying solid, you know, not reaching and keeping his man in front. Uh, when he's solid, he's a, he's a very good on-ball defender. Last couple questions from here, Coach. First one is from Joe Keata. Hey, Joe. It's Joe Keata from uh, NBC10 back in Providence. Um, can you just talk about the opportunity you have of uh, being the head coach of the summer league team and, and what it means uh, to you being a guy from Rhode Island? Yeah, I think it's just more about the guys. Um, as I said, um, blessed to have the opportunity, but the guys are great. The players are great. They've been a blast to coach. Uh, they're very smart and they're very unselfish. Uh, so it makes the experience worthwhile. And, um, you know, I just feel blessed to be able to coach them. Last question, coaches, from AJ McCord. Hey, coach. I'm so sorry if you've been asked this question. I had some difficulty logging on, but um, from Portland, Oregon. So here, uh, Peyton Pritchard's obviously somebody we're very proud of. Can you just speak to what you've seen from him in summer league so far and um, how you've seen him sort of take the reins and, and own the moment of summer league? Yeah, he's competitive um, and he's open to coaching. And no matter who it is, um, everyone on our roster is that way. 
and you know he falls into that line. So when you have people who are competitive and you have people who are coachable, uh, you tend to get good results. Uh, he's been fun to coach. He's been open to feedback, and um, you know he's open to the challenge of just becoming a better point guard and a better player. Thank you. Well, up right there. Thank you, coach. Thank you.